Hi everyone, it's Ozymandias. This is my second English tutorials and today I'm gonna show you how to extract texture from PCS X2 1.4.0 or older or maybe new. Uh, so for this tutorial we need the the YAM editor PCS X2, it's free. So I'm gonna post the download link on the, the video description for every software. So you need this 1.4.0 or older. You need this XNView. XNView is a free software that allows you to show uh, the DDS format. The DDS format is a basic DDS image format. It's a basic image format for video game. So you need this XNView. And you need this text mode. So text mode is free. It's just an exec, so you don't have to install anything from this. This is a simple extension from XNView. So follow the instruction. And text mode just extract the exe from the folder on your desktop or everywhere on your hard drive. So okay. So sorry. So you need this, and you need the ISO from the game, uh, obviously. So that's the only thing you need for this tutorial is a little bit more difficult than the dolphin tutorial. So that's all. And sorry, sorry for my bad English. So launch text mode here. Go to logging mode here. And now check the target application here. So just check it. Go to your PCSX2 folder. For me, is on F Program File X86 PCSX2 1.4.0. Check this and and uh, take the PCSX2 exe files here. So open it. Now check these three options on the left. Don't check alternative method and translucent. Output format DDS, log with enter, output folder. That's uh, from that's your choice. I chose F Def Jam Reaper. This is your hard drive when you extracted the texture. So choose one, and that's all. Check run. And now you have to configure your plugin BIOS. So I using the default 1.4.0 settings so i using a usa bios and the gsdx the 32 avx the 19.00 so that's my setting and go to video and plugin parameter here use your hard, your graphic card me it's a geforce gtx 980 use your wanderer direct 3d9 for me hardware this is important hardware and you don't check allow 8-bit texture you can check internal resolution native texture filtering billionaire and anisotropic filtering off crc 8 level full uh, and have hw hack logarithmic z alpha correction and everything so first i just go here i don't want sound from this video so Let's do this because I make a. I'm gonna try to make this tutorial first, and uh, the sound was very too loud, and that was a disaster. So now you have a good configuration. You can launch the game. So choose your ISO here. So choose ISO. For me, it's Def Jam Fight for New York. If you don't see anything, go to Browns here or Parcourir. For me, it's in French Browns, and check your ISO. Uh, launch the game. So I launch the fat, the fast. Uh, I don't want sound, please. No sound. <laughs> Damn it. And now you can see those red here, words here, those red line here. So if you don't have this, that's not good. You have a wrong settings. So check if you have this red line. If you setting the same as me now you have this red thing here if you don't that's not good so 
So now we're gonna try to extract the texture from the game. So that's working with every game on PS2 that's have uh, texture like uh, Dev Jam or everything else. I using the Warriors game. Uh, that's working. If the game have texture, sorry, not that. So that's that save that I've downloaded. So we use that. So that's working with game with texture, but we can't. Uh, imports his own texture on this. We can only extract him. That's all. Uh, sorry, using that. Uh, now, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's check this. So, so now we have the game here. So, for extracting the texture, just hold down the asterisk button on the right of your keyboard of the new pad keyboard so you have an asterisk the little star uh, at the at the right at the yeah uh, sorry at the left of your minus button so check it hold down you can hold down many times and now with plus and minus you can switch between the texture of the scene here so we want the first fighter texture so just here, here we go we have the texture here so hit enter and now we have extracting the texture so that's working with all the texture from the scene and now if you want a blood texture for this game we have two kind of texture so the texture are not load yet but I'm gonna make I'm gonna load this texture so wait a minute so uh, we see I think the is on blood I don't know no not again just wait Yes, so you see this is a new texture. If you want to reload texture from the scene, just hold down again just the asterisk button. So hold down this asterisk of the right of your keyboard and now you can check with plus or minus and now we see here there is a new texture. So be careful sometimes is rename the old texture so be careful just rename your texture here from your folder this is the texture I extract so make new folder from your texture and put your, fo your texture uh, on this folder so now that's okay we have the texture but as you can see the texture is in the wrong color so for that I'm gonna save it at PNG that's not necessary but I prefer PNG because I'm using the Dolphin emulator too so P PNG is the the format for the GameCube version the Dolphin version so I saving this texture on uh, my desktop so I'm gonna open this with Photoshop And now you can see that the transparency is not good too but first off we're just gonna change this color problem so go in image here adjustments and go to channel mixer and now here as you can see we have output channel red source channel we have red green blue on red on the source channel here 
put on zero and blue put on 100. Go to blue on the output channels here, go to blue, put the blue at zero and the red at 100. Now we have a good color, but the texture is transparency, is transparent. So go to layer, layer mask and from transparency here. Just go to channel on the right here and uncheck everything on the left and just check the eye here for seeing only this channel mix, this channel, this alpha, sorry, layer. Uh, now take your magic wand tool here, put the tolerance to 50 and uncheck everything here and select your, the gray, the gray here and put white on it. Fill it with white color, with white, not color, with white. And now, as you can see, they have a good texture with a good alpha channel. As you can see, we have a good alpha. The alpha, the black texture is, is the alpha channel. This is the transparency. Black is transparent, gray is half transparent, is uh, a little bit transparent for like a wind, like a window, sorry. And now we have a good texture and white is opaque, is the texture. So now we have a good texture, we can save it and that's it. The texture is good and if you want, you can replace it with the old dolphin, like my first tutorial. If you don't see my first, if you don't have seen my, seen my uh, first tutorial on dolphin, that's not important for you, but I create a custom load texture from Dolphin and I can change the texture. I can put this texture on PNG. Uh, we just need the name of the texture. I think is uh, is uh, this texture. Just put take the name of this texture, this, this strange name, rename it and put it and put in your load texture. And that's all. You have your texture that's working for every game. And uh, that's it. If you have question for this, uh, you can uh, you can post your question in commentary, sorry, in the video. Uh, again, sorry for my bad English. I speak in very bad English. Uh, I hope that helped you and thank you very much. And see you next time, guys. Thank you.